You want to start out strong as a writer and succeed at your work. But a lot of different traits and strengths are at play to keep us at the keyboard or on the page. But the good news is you may already have what it takes to succeed. And if not, you can develop it. Hi, I'm Ann Croker, writing coach. Welcome back on this channel. I'm sharing my best tips and training skills and strategies to coach writers to improve their craft, pursue publishing, and achieve their writing goals. Make sure you subscribe if you're a writer looking for input and confidence to establish and advance your career. So let's go through these five writing strengths. The first is very simple and must not be underestimated. It is the ability to sit still for long periods of time. You've heard that golden advice from other professionals that you must apply your seat to the chair. Well, to do that, you need to be willing to sit at a screen or sit at a page for long stretches of time if you want to succeed as a writer. It's the only way to get the job done. Now, some people are using standing desks, and that's certainly an option for you. But the idea is you must stay there focused and not really move much. If you can do that, you already have an advantage over people who are a little restless. Now, I do have ideas for people who are on the go, but that's for another video. The idea here is that if you want to get a long work in progress done or some short work, you must be able to sit still, apply your brain to the work, and apply your seat to the chair. In her classic book, Becoming a Writer, Dorothea Brand writes about this very thing. She says, writing calls on unused muscles and involves solitude and immobility. She continues, a journalist's career does teach two lessons which every writer needs to learn, that it is possible to write for long periods without fatigue, and that if one pushes on past the first weariness, one finds a reservoir of unsuspected energy. One reaches the famous second wind. So you can develop it, you see. You learn to sit there. You learn to do the work. You learn to stay focused. So with practice, you too can sit still for long periods of time and do the work. The second writing strength that will get you far and help you succeed as a writer, whether you're just getting established or whether you're trying to advance your career, is curiosity. Whether you're working in fiction or nonfiction, curiosity is going to be a driving force for you as a writer. As a freelance writer, essayist, journalist, or an author of nonfiction, you probably have a driving question that's pushing you to do research, to explore a topic, and try to pull together all kinds of different ideas and synthesize those. It's curiosity that's behind it all. Curiosity sends you to find the sources you need. Curiosity helps you answer the questions that put this whole project into motion, most likely. So ask good questions and you are going to develop that second writing strength, curiosity. The third writing strength is a commitment to lifelong learning. Now this is a little different from curiosity, although you can probably imagine some overlap, but a commitment to lifelong learning allows you to grow as a person and as a writer. The commitment to lifelong learning will help you acquire new writing skills and acquire information you can put into all of your work. It works with the growth mindset so that you can acquire new skills as well, because these days writers also have to build a business and learn different kinds of technology. So again, to have that lifelong learner mindset, you're not only reading great classics, you're also learning new skills you can apply directly to the work that you're doing. So to succeed as a writer, be sure you work on developing that mindset, which is to have a commitment to lifelong learning. As we move to the fourth writing strength, you'll see there is some overlap with these because the fourth is a love of reading. Writers usually naturally have a love of reading and if they don't, this is something they can acquire because by reading, we learn not only new content, but also the craft. We get to see great authors doing the work that we are trying to do. We can learn at the micro level, studying their sentences, studying how they piece things together, studying how they structure their pieces. You've probably seen that quote from Stephen King from his memoir on writing. He wrote, if you want to be a writer, you must do two things above all others, read a lot and write a lot. There's no way around these two things that I'm aware of. No shortcut. And later he said, reading is the creative center of a writer's life. 
Now I write mostly nonfiction, so I read a lot of nonfiction, and I encourage you to definitely read in your genre. You need to understand your genre so you, you understand how it works, what people are expecting, and what even editors are expecting. But I also encourage you to read outside your genre. If you write essays, read poetry. If you write poetry, read short stories. If you tend to write on a certain set of topics, be sure to read outside that subject matter because you'll have more information, more ideas you could use and lasso them for an analogy or a metaphor or a story you could integrate into the type of writing you normally do. The more material that's in the library of your mind, the more you can pull that together, synthesize it, and incorporate it into your own work. So read a lot read widely to learn how to write better by looking at great models, by acquiring information, and by getting ideas outside of your typical genre. If you think I'm leaving out a critical writing strength, let me know in the comments below so we can share and learn from each other. And while you're there, be sure to share your greatest writing strength. The last writing strength I'd like to share with you today is persistence. Winston Churchill famously said, never, never, never give up. And that's my word for you today. Never give up. As you're working on a project and you're stuck in that muddy middle and you're like, I cannot figure out how this is all going to come together. Persist. Stick with it. Keep going all the way to the end. When you're, whether you're completing a project or sending out your work, you're going to need persistence. You need it when you start hearing no from an editor who says, I don't really want or need this article. You'll need it when you hear that no from an agent or an editor. And it's not for us. Keep going. You must get back to the seat and sit for long periods of time to research another place to submit your work, to find another agent who might be a good fit for your project. Persistence is how average people become great and is how great people get their work out there. I've seen great people, great writers who lack that persistence. They don't develop that deep down grit that's needed to continue the work when they are discouraged and they don't fulfill their potential. And I've seen people who've gone from just starting out to developing strong writing gifts and they've developed the skills, they've done the work, they've read, they've learned how to read like a writer and they've changed and developed and grown and matured in their craft. But it was persistence that was the key to all of that. It got them back to learning more and having that growth mindset that they can figure it out if they just keep working at it. With persistence, they kept working at their big project and came all the way to completion with that longer form piece. Persistence encouraged them to wake up and send out another query letter, despite the fact that they may hear no. Persistence gets the job done. Persistence keeps us at the work over the long haul. That is how you're going to succeed as a writer. Persistence will pull it all together and keep you doing the work of a writer. I would love to know what writing strengths you possess, so let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to know more about how you can read like a writer, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you're ready to apply your own writing strengths to start and finish your next writing project. I'm Ann Croker, Writing Coach.